this man right here has not wasted any time. Oh man, what happened? What do you think happened there? These cold still roads are all we'll ever find in memories made from trails we left behind along the way. I know these roads will lead us home. Hey friends, Robert here with Coastal GX embarking on a five day adventure at the East Cut. I am loaded up, I got the Opus loaded up here, Sandy's on point. Straight off the bat, shout out to D&D wheel alignment in McAllen. Guys, it is riding so smooth, it is perfect. I have my brother and I have my daughter and uh, her fiance, Nacho, you know, following behind me. My son's gonna be joining me in a little while. Many friends, I have my buddy John Paul Saucy already waiting for me at the jetties. And we're gonna have so many other guests coming in and out throughout the week. It is a Thursday, so we're gonna be boondocking. We're gonna put the Opus to the test and see how it performs out there. I'm sure you guys are going to be loving this video because it's gonna have a little bit of everything. I wanted some privacy. I wanted to set it up over here, kind of away from the crowd. Sorry friends, but we have to rewind here real quick. Pay close attention to this white forerunner because we'll be talking about it in just a few moments. Okay, now we can continue. And uh, so I'm gonna set it up right here. As you can see, there's only one entrance and it's this right here. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to get it to face over this way. Okay, west is that way, so that's where we're gonna shower, you know, and do other things, kind of have some privacy over there on the other side. Do not go in there. Woo! But there should be plenty of space over here. Unfortunately, with the GX460, the door and the swing out goes this way. So there's very limited room when you open up the doors. So I'm just gonna do the very best. I'm gonna have to unhitch it leave it here, but uh, I think it's gonna work out just fine. I won't bore you with the camp details. If you're curious about how the Opus is set up, I invite you to watch my detailed video. Guys, check this out. We've been standing up over here. This man right here has not wasted any time. Oh man, what happened? What do you think happened there? Yeah, I man. A little beat up. Rem now John got here, John got here right at the same time we did. And uh, look at this, oh man, we gotta go release him, right? Oh, yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's oh my goodness. Guys, if this is a sign of what's to come, we've only been here for an hour and a half or so. Of course, we've been setting up. John doesn't waste any time. And that's the difference, guys. If you're gonna come over here, you're gonna focus on the fishing or you're gonna focus on camping, but whatever you're gonna do, just remember, it takes time. Everybody be careful. Probably shouldn't be wearing, this is as far as I go. Oh my goodness. What do you think, man, 40? 38? 39. 39, just short. Crazy. And of course, you know, he's gonna send it back. Guys, you know, don't waste your time with these big boys. Uh, the meat is not gonna taste good. So you might as well just let him get back out there, get healthy again, and uh, maybe give some other angler a chance to catch him. And of course, these uh, bad boys to multiply. There he goes. Yes. Excellent. 
John walked past the roadblock to get some live bait. What he found was the driver of the white forerunner we saw earlier in the video. Guys, it's still prohibited to go back there, so please use some common sense. We all miss driving back there, but you know you can get into some trouble if you risk it. attempt to uh, get a hummingbird, didn't get it. Hey guys, so check it out. Finally got the interior set up here. Uh, yeah, it's not like, okay, it's uh, great over here, you know, homes and garden type of setup. But I did my best, you know, I just uh, still, you know, we're going to have to set up the beds and whatnot but this is going to be the interior for the next five days still have to put the, the top on the bed and whatnot um yeah the, the the opus does come with a couple of agm batteries and i do have the jackery 1000 here just as a backup and i uh, brought solar panels and whatnot right now i'm, I'm uh, charging my fan it's really cool because you could just charge it up and it'll run for several hours. Great for saving power out here. But anyway, that's the interior looking good. I hear some guests are out there, so I'm gonna go and say hello. Guys, check it out. It's my buddy Tony and his wife. How y'all doing? doing? Good, really good. Hey. Hey, hey. hey so uh, tell me, uh, well, how's, how's the fishing been for you? First of all, I got here late. Yeah. I got here at 9 o'clock, started fishing, uh -huh. and I see all the older gentlemen, which know how to fish really good, yeah. they're just catching along the edge, they're throwing lures, and yeah. flounder, flounder, flounder. Nice. Flounder. I'm, like, I'm gonna have to try that out, so I did the same thing, switched over, caught my three flounders, lost two, but everybody further down on the edge was catching a bunch of uh, reds. You were using lures on these? Yep. Oh, that's the big boy right there. Oh, very nice. You're gonna eat well, dude. Yeah, there's another nice. one in there. Hugo. Nice to meet you, Hugo. Hugo. How you? Saul, Saul. Saul, nice to meet you, sir. How did you all do? How's it going, bro? How you doing? I'm Robert. Yeah, man, let's see this. How you doing? How you doing? Robert Coastal GX. Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, my God. Y'all made out like bandits. Guys, this is this is promising, man. You know, if uh, I'm not going to say that we're going to do what these guys did here, you know, because... But good job, guys. Yeah, man. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much the setup out here. Uh, everybody left. Everybody that's over here at the jetties took off. Uh, Junior, I hear he caught a ladyfish, but we're going to go check on him. And uh, this is my setup right here. I got the two Solar Saga uh, solar panels there, and they're powering up. The Jackery 1000 because I don't know why, but for some reason it, it doesn't want to work. It doesn't want to power up the Opus, not not the setup, but the actual MPPT that I bought has failed me. A different MPPT, it's not working. So I'm gonna have to think about that. I'm sure it's gonna be a, yet another thing for me to think about when I go to sleep tonight as to how I'm gonna power up the batteries. Thank God I brought other types of solutions from battery clamps and there's gotta be a way. There's gotta be a way, so yeah, we'll figure it out. I'll worry about that later. Yeah, I set up the kitchens out here, water's been connected, but I'm not gonna be using any of that stuff until I need to. We learned a lot last time around, so the fridge is still going. Uh, it's operating at 31 degrees in there. And then my son has another fridge. And, uh, and of course I have the awesome Isco over here and it's working just fine. So let's go see, let's go take a look. Finally gonna get a chance 
to go and take a look at what's going on at the jetties. I got my brother Junior over here, Robbie, my son. Robbie, look, you, you got the spikes. How are they working out? Pretty good. Grippy. Grippy, grippy. Awesome. Sammy, be careful. You don't have them. You can get hurt. What about you? You don't have them either. Yeah, but I'm not stepping on that green stuff. You are. That's, that's not good, Sammy. Yeah, yeah, be careful. And uh, yeah, you see Nacho still over here in the dry, just like I am. But yeah, you don't want to be stepping on any of that stuff right there. Yeah, my grippers. You got your grippers? Looks like uh, you already got grip there on your leg. You have some blood. <laughs> yeah, I lost grip. You lost grip? Junior, have you had any luck? Uh, we've had some that got away, but yeah. Nice. <laughs> Robbie, no bites? Uh, this one's more, uh, catfish. Oh, okay. Okay, well, hopefully it starts picking up, man. Let me go check on John and let me see what he's got going over there. So we took a break from fishing right now. And uh, my buddy, Smiley, he lives in Houston, in the Houston area. And uh, he is the owner and operator, co-owner, co-operator of Saltwater Samurai Weight and Tackle. And I'm here with my buddy, John Paul Saucy. How's it going, guys? <laughs> <laughs> and John is, uh, I mean, I respect him because he is always out here. He is an avid fisherman, avid angler. And uh, the guy, you know, he's always catching. He just caught a bull red a little while ago. and. And now I asked him to take a look at these uh, rigs from Saltwater Samurai here. And uh, because we are really trying to aim for the bull reds. Take a look at this one right here. Tell me, John Paul, would you be using anything like this in your setup? Yeah, I would. Uh, I like this one right here. A little bit more than the others because this one's actually made out of steel leader and I like this kind of leader while targeting sharks. This, this is perfect. You can circle hook and I like how y'all keep the circle hooks bent to one side. They're offset. So, uh, looks like good quality yeah, this stuff. This is good stuff right here, man. I like this code, code leader. You want to try using one of these? I am going to try. I'm going to try this one right here. Nice. I nice. like these. I like for I like these that are different size too, because with this one you can actually cut some uh, some slot size reds, and this one too you might you can put a large shrimp on there. You target some drum as well. I like these. These are awesome. Check out these weights, man. My buddy he actually makes them himself, and uh, yeah, he was telling me about a certain way that he casts casts them out there, mm -hmm. and I can't wait to try it out as well. So the way I would use these right here is. Um, I bend these like this. I like these because they don't have the stick right in the middle. These are good weights. You know, you notice how some of the weights that I ha they're twisted right here, and then they have a yeah piece of metal. I don't like this because they actually bend, and sometimes it causes for the sinker to be stuck a little bit more than it should when you're bringing it in. So I like this. This is a good setup. It's uh, pretty much the same thing. Same quality build, guys. You know, just a smaller weight over here. But yeah, this is some, uh, some of the gear, some of the tackle that we're going to be using. Of course, you know, we also he also brought. Uh, this looks like. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, you know his flounder setup right here. You know, which we are obviously going to be trying as well. You know, since we saw Tony a little while ago with his catch, and the boys over there, they they had some flounder <laughs> luck with that. <laughs> so awesome, man. Can't wait to see uh, see it in action, and uh, let's hope that uh, it actually gets us another one, all right? Pretty good chunk. So I like to go through one side of the skin and then out through the other side of the skin. That's going to keep the meat intact. If you just go through one side and if you were to hook it from here and then to here, what's going to happen is that the little fish are going to... It's going to be easier for the little fish to peel off all the meat. Oh.
Tell me about your setup over here. It's so, so minimal. Usually what I do is I, when I get here, the first thing I do is I start fishing. I, I scout and I look, I look at the rocks. I, I look at the water. I look to see what's, what's happening. I sit down for a couple minutes and then uh, I just start fishing. Yeah. Uh, I spend 90% of the time fishing out here and just a little bit of time doing other stuff. So this is my sleeping setup right here. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> just a cozy little setup yeah, just for him, it's, man. It's perfect. It's perfect. Like I spend too much time setting up the tent, setting all this and that. No, no, just you're you're you're, you're here for business <laughs> yeah and unlike this guy over here with his damn rv and the whole works yeah i know i'm pathetic but that's just my style man i'm not gonna apologize for that you know Oh yeah, we're recording, we're on. No! 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 Okay guys, so I drove myself over to, a little closer to the jetties, and uh, I'm gonna be trying, trying my best to fish over here. Let's see what happens. Okay guys, so this is the situation. Uh, Opus is good to go. And uh, we got water, we got everything's going on. And my brother, Junior, over here, he's got a very nice little setup as well. Okay, he's got the generator going and uh, power his nice little lights over here. A uh, buddy of mine, uh, Noe, he's setting up camp way that way. I don't even know if uh, you'll be able to see any of this stuff. I know the sun's pretty much already gone down or about to, um, but Junior brought the pit. We're not gonna have Junior and we're not gonna have his pit for a long time. So we gotta take advantage of it being here. Yeah. And uh, brought some ribs, some uh, little, uh, what, is, what is the other riblets or some other? Like uh, costillas de pecho. Costillas de pecho. Yep. Pecho ribs. Costillas de pecho and some, ribs. <laughs> some mustard ribs. Mustard ribs. Unfortunately, the mic went out while my son Robbie showed me his setup. I'm proud of what he's built, and I have to say, the rig is coming along great. Samantha is going to help us out. Yeah, for a couple of uh, months, she was actually a bartender <laughs> at one point in her life, okay. pobrecita. Oh. But <laughs> but this huge bottle of tequila right here, yeah, that's courtesy of my buddy and neighbor, uh, Mr. Palacios. Thank you so much for uh, your very thoughtful uh, gift. And uh, yes, we will be drinking responsibly just a little bit. And this prickly pear habanero mix Samantha got for me and she went to the hill country not too long ago and uh, she's gonna mix it with a little 
LaCroix and let's see what happens. Not sure you didn't bring any moonshine this time? Sadly. Oh, that's too bad, man. And she's mixing it in this tall drink from uh, Saltwater Samurai. Those are the rigs we've been using. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see. It's good, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I wish we had ice. That's the only thing. It's a little on the hot side. Spicy. Oh, really? it's, spicy. Oh, it's spicy. I think we need to put more uh, LaCroix. Mm, it is It is spicy. Feel it up. If my wife was here, she would not be approving. That better? It's spicy. Still spicy? <laughs> it's pretty it's darn spicy. Yeah, it's it's better. My birthday, kind of like a weekend, I guess, vacation thing. And uh, I am so happy to be celebrating with my children, my brother, Nacho, and my buddy, John, over here. We're still missing a few, a few people, you know, but I am so happy, man. Make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on these upcoming get up, get out, do something adventures. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, nice. <laughs>